so at this point um just getting a reinforcement to stratos have the nice strong floater um get prisma to hand uh, i'm only gonna set one road and a book because i don't like because he knows i play trap stun he might just think um setting trap stun a defensive thing and just heavy storm because if i set three then it's pretty obvious i have Solomon or Starlight Road, but then again, he ha he hasn't seen Starlight Road game one or game two, so he might not think I even play it. So it might come to a shock to him. So this is really good, as he didn't know I play it. I was about to say that to hopefully get him to heavy storm, which he does. Uh, does so I get the Stardust, which is really good. I've just plus one gained advantage. So yeah. So the only spells and traps I've really seen during this game is Solomon and Enemy Controller, Treshel, and that's like it so far. So I haven't really seen much of his back rows yet. I don't even know if he plays many. But we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to book a moon because I want to get Prisma, Semper Starry, Test Target for Samurai, Attack Over, Search Chariot, Tag for Quest, get Pissari back to hand. Because Chariot is just so good against his deck because he plays um, Debras and Junk Synchro, so it's pretty important. Plus, if he has Miracles, Trenchel, I have Stardust. It does suck if he Trenchels and has Miracles, that would really screw me up. That, that would. So I'm just gonna go for it because it's unlikely he opened three that he opened heavy miracles and trenchel three one offs. He doesn't have trenchel, so I'm sweet to just go Sam Knight attack. Um, yeah, if he has miracles, just negate for start offs. All good. really think he has having a so he has a Solomon judgment or something or has um Trenchel and D prison. search chariot and then attack with Stratos. I'm hesitant to attack with Stratos just because to be honest he probably would have deep prison on Savonite I guess. But if, if he has deep prison and MST I'm just I'm just gonna um he probably doesn't have MST because he would have MST my back row before attacking Stratos, so it probably was a mistake not to attack um, with Stardust, but at this point I'm just in really good control and I don't really need to, I think it's still a mistake, but I'm just in so much control I just want to chill out, just slow the game down. Not really, I don't want to lose Stardust at the moment. I, I'm happy not to attack with him because it wouldn't really change much with the life point gap. So, yeah, this is game three after the stands at 1 1. Game one, I just opened really good, just controlled it. There wasn't much he could do. Um, he did come off. A good tag from Hop into a Vistari instead of a Milo. I'm thinking, um, at game two, he just got me really good with Heavy Storm and Solomon to my five back row and Solomon. I'm really thinking he's got Solomon, and I don't want to go to Zarish because if he does Solomon it, then it's. I don't, I don't have my chariot, and I basically have no back rows. I have, yeah. 
so I'm just gonna I'm gonna just test flow the new set because last turn he didn't do anything to my guys. Um, he didn't do anything to my guys, so I'm assuming them t the first two set cards he can't really do anything. So I'm just going to get rid of the new card and yeah. Okay, sweet. Um, I'm just gonna tackle them. Tackle Stratos, leaving him on 1300 or 1800 or something. I don't know why, but when I was playing, um, I was hesitant to attack the game. I that I will admit that was my mistake. Uh, there was really no like, I really should have attacked with Stardust. Like, if he um, if he mirror forces, I didn't get with Stardust. You wouldn't activate Road because if I activate Road and he has Solomon, then I lose all my monsters. It's the same with TT. You'd rather negate with a monster's effect than negate with a trap card that can be negated. If you understand that. So I'm just going to Bistari blow one up. And then I guess Gizarus. And just hope he doesn't have Solomon now. If he has Solomon, I'm still... I got, I got four, six cards to his uh, three once he draws. But it, it was a mistake not to attack with Stardust. Because if I Stardust attack and he decrisms, he has one card in his back row. If it's TT... Then I have my road set. If it's um, bottomless trap hole, that would suck. But if it's Solomon, I'm going to attack with the Starry anyway and kill his last back row. So even if it was Solomon, um, Tarantula, it wouldn't have mattered. So I, I acknowledge that it was my mistake and I'll remember that next time. So it was, he did have a treasure, which I thought he did. And now I just start that road as well. So if he did have um Trenchel and Solomon, then yeah, could have been really fucked. So I'm pr pretty sure I've got this game. I it's just there's not much he can do. Like he MST heavy on the game, then I have Chariot for his monster, whatever. So yeah, Jack Turnbull uh, wins over New Edge, uh, two one. Game, we'll just recap game one. I just opened good. Just play it pretty standard. Anyone else probably would have, except maybe that Mamila play that was all right. Um, game two, he just throws. He he gets me really good basically with a first turn set heavy storm and Solomon. I set five. He heavy storms. I Solomon. He Solomon's. So yeah. Um, game three. Yeah, just Starlight Roads a really good card but at the same time it's really poorly designed it, it is stupid but it, it is a I guess a good card but also poorly designed and I did game 3 make a mistake by not attacking with Stardust the first time I didn't attack it with Stardust that was a mistake I was happy not to attack after watching it again I feel like still I'm glad I didn't attack just because I really want Stardust on the field in case he has MST or um, whatever, but the second time, I definitely, sh also the first time, it wouldn't have put me in a gaming position, like, I wouldn't, like, win, so I didn't feel like I needed to risk it, um, so I'm glad I didn't attack, but I really should have attacked the next turn with the Stardust and done game, but I guess I was in that much control, it didn't really matter, but still, regardless, it was a mistake, I acknowledge it, I'll know for next time, and I hope everyone enjoyed it, and hopefully they learned something, and hopefully they can point out a misplay I didn't see, and improve my game, so thanks for watching, and keep updated, I'll be sure to have more of these videos with commentary, and yeah, join ETC and get into Fight Club yourself as well, Jack Turnbull thinks it's pretty awesome.